I give that performance a 7 out of 10. I've done, I've done better. This song is called September We Got Fire by Sparky Deathcap. A very serious song. I'm in a very serious mood. So not really in a joke and a mound, mound kind of nude today. I said nude. That's inappropriate. We're going to learn this song in three easy steps. It might be like tw 27 easy steps. Several steps of varying difficulty. Standard tuning, but you do need a capo. So put that capo on the fourth fret of the guitar. I know there's a lot of songs with capos. Look, a lot of cool songs use capos. Get over it. There's three sections. There's the intro, which is also like the verse, and then there's the in-between part, and then there's the ending part. We are going to call the first part that you all know and love, the intro, we're going to call that the A section. Then there is this little short part that comes up every once in a while. We're going to call that the B section. And then there's the whole ending of the song, which we will call the C section. Let us begin with the A section, the beginning part. It goes like this. Probably the easiest part of the song. My microphone is much closer to my mouth than usual, and I'm also yelling, so I feel like it's probably going to sound terrible. Pointer finger on the fourth fret of the A string, the second string from the top. I know with the capo that confused, so this is, counts as one, two, three, four, right there. Pointer finger right there. Your ring finger is going to play the 6th fret on the D string, the 3rd string from the top. And then your pinky plays the 6th fret of the G string, the 3rd string from the bottom. So now we've got this chord here. Some of you might know this shape as a power chord shape, but we are not really playing a power chord because we're also going to have some open strings and stuff. I believe this song was originally played with fingers, finger style, like this. You can totally use a pick. It actually sounds pretty good with a pick. I, oh, if you play it right, it sounds good with a pick. But we're going to use it with your fingers um, be, uh, because that's, like I said, that's how the guy from Sparky Deathcap does it. Get your chord ready. You're going to go like this. Thumb plays the second string from the top. Pointer finger plays the third string from the top. Middle finger plays the fourth string from the top. And then, yeah, ring finger, didn't think the ring finger was getting involved, did ya? Is gonna play the B string, the second string from the bottom. So we're going thumb, pointer, middle, ring. If you are like, my fingers will not cooperate, you can, you can go like thumb, thumb, pointer, middle, or you can go like, what else could you do? I suppose you could go like thumb pointer middle middle. Do whatever you gotta do. What I'm gonna do is thumb on the A string, pointer finger on the D string, middle finger on the G string, ring finger on the B string. Okay? So let's, let's, just, let's just start by playing those four notes. One, two, three, four. I'm using like the, the tip of my fingers and kind of the side of my thumb right here. So my thumb, see I'm using kind of the side of it. Fingers, I'm just using the actual flesh of my finger. I know flesh is a weird, it's a weird word, but sometimes you gotta say weird words. Um, if you have long nails, you can use your nails to play the strings. I like the sound of my skin playing the strings. I think it's, I think it's a nice, warm sound. So we've got thumb, pointer, middle, ring. Nice and slow, play those four notes. One, two, here we go. One, two, three, four. There. Then you're just gonna go back up the string. So what I mean by that is we've got thumb, pointer, middle, ring. Then you're gonna play middle on the G string, pointer finger on the D string. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Thumb, pointer, middle, ring, middle, pointer. Keeping the same chord. Let us just practice that one chord. This is going to be the picking pattern we are going to use throughout the song. So you, you want to make sure you have a solid foundation with this picking pattern. Let us play it four times in a row. Nice and slow. Bonky, bing, bang, sparky, death, cap.
That is the longest I have ever gone without talking in one of these videos. We've got that. Now, keep your hand in the exact same location. We're going to do the same picking pattern again, except for one crucial difference. The first note that your thumb plays is not going to be the A string, the second string from the top. It's going to be the open top string. Your three fingers are gonna play the same strings they were playing before. The D string, G string, and B string. Just your thumb is going up to the top. We are ignoring the A string completely. So we've got first chord, then the next one, top string. But see how all the other notes are exactly the same. So what's happening today is I am really trying to not look at the monitor over here of myself like I usually do. I'm trying to stare right at the camera, but I'm getting a little obsessive about it and I think it's coming across as a little bit intense. Let's play those two chords again. One, two, sparky death gap. How'd you do? Great. Perfect. Amazing. Amazing. I made up a new word. It's amazing without the A. Amazing. Probably gonna cut that part out of the video. That was not funny at all. Then your middle finger is going to play the one, two, three, four, five, fifth fret on the E string, the top string of the guitar. So I'm keeping these three fingers in the exact same spot. Middle finger comes up to the fifth fret. Then I'm going to do the exact same picking pattern I just did where my thumb is going to play the top string. I'm going to skip the A string and do the next three strings. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about that? Let's, uh, let's, what do you say we play these first three chords nice and slowly? One, two, here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, top string. Two, three, four, five, six, fifth fret. Boom, bing, bang, bing, bong. I think we're doing great. I think we're making great time. I think we're really hitting it off. Um, and I think the rest of this song is going to be a pleasure to learn. Let's finish off this main section, the section that I affectionately call the A section. Hi, my name is Stuart. Welcome to Guitar Lessons with Stuart. Like and subscribe. The fourth and final chord of the A section is exactly the same as the second chord. So you know how we just put our middle finger on the fifth fret of the top string? You're going to get rid of that and just play the open top string again. You see how I just went, I'm very mad. We're playing that chord again. So first chord is this, with those middle four strings. Then we go to the top string open. Then middle finger comes up to the fifth fret. Then you get rid of your middle finger, play the top string open again. That's the, guys. That's the main section of the song. Not too bad, right? Let's do it nice and slow. Uh, I've been counting the song off kind of weird. This song, I think, I think we're gonna call work. I think we're gonna call this song a six-eight time signature song, which means we're thinking of it as one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One, two, three. Tobacco, 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 tobacco. So I'm gonna go one, two. Three, here we go. Top string. Fifth fret. Top string open. Back to the middle. Hey! Ho! Uh. This song needs more uhs and hoes in there. Doesn't really. I think they, they have a they have the appropriate amount of huzz and hose. Um, okay. So this is what they play for the intro, and all the other strings are going shring, shrang, shring, shrong, shring, shrong, shring. Wait, what is that? That's a kill bill song. Okay. What we're gonna do now is we are going to I am I I took a, I, the reason I got a little excited, because that is the best whistling I have ever done. I didn't even warm up with my whistling. That just came out of my body with that beautiful whistling sound. The intro of the song is just those four chords over and over and over again. I don't know how many times, probably maybe four, maybe eight. 
It's probably four or eight is my guess. Um, but then, then we get to the actual singing part. And I don't know what the song is about, but I have to say the, the singing sounds a little sad. Sounds like this person is somewhat unhappy while they're singing this song. Um, here's, here's what happens when we do the verse. We play this main riff, those main chords, the A section, twice once the singing starts. Then we go into the B section, and I'm going to warn you, the B section kind of sucks. It's hard to play. It sounds great, kind of hard to play. Let's get started, shall we? Go ahead and get ready with that first chord again, that regular chord we've been doing, the binky, binky, banky. Um, what we're going to do to get ready for the B section of the song you're not going to like it. Lift up your pointer finger. Put your middle finger exactly where your pointer finger was. So that's the fourth fret on the A string, the second string from the top. It already sucks, I know, but it's going to get worse. Then your pointer finger stretches all the way to the second fret of the top string. Are you crazy? This is the first chord of the B section. Here's what I'm going to say. Here's what I'm going to say. A lot of you probably are thinking my hands are not big enough. I think almost all of you have hands that are big enough for this. It's just a matter of finding the right position for your hand. So here are a few, here are a few things to think about. One, watch out where your thumb, oh, can you see that? Watch out where your thumb is. If your thumb is coming up over the top of the neck, which I do that all the time when I play, but look, if I try to play this chord with my thumb stretched up over the top, uh, there's no way. There's no way that's going to happen. It just doesn't work. So I bring my thumb way down here like this. You know, my thumb is on the back of the neck, kind of down low on it. If I do that, I can stretch out way easier. Now, here's another helpful tip. If you're holding your guitar totally uh, perpendicular to your body like this, or like horizontal perpendicular to the floor, whatever you want to call it, that's also, you can do it, but it's a little bit tough. What I recommend is angle your guitar up a little bit. This might actually be a good song to kind of hold your guitar up more like this. If you have a strap, you can shorten the strap and angle it up like that. If you're sitting down, instead of having this curve sitting on your leg, like I normally have it, you might want to bring it up like this. If your guitar is at this angle, that also makes it quite a bit easier to get the chords. Just a couple of things. Oh, oh, one more tip. One more tip. When the guy from the band, there's a video of him playing it live somewhere. He's actually got the capo on the sixth fret. He's just playing the song higher up. Um, it just the song sounds, all the, all the pitches are raised. But, but if you put your capo on the sixth fret or even the seventh or eighth fret, then just move everything up, then look. The frets, are, the frets are smaller up here, guys. I forgot how to play guitar. The frets are smaller up here, and it's an easier stretch. So if you're like almost, you can do it, but not quite, try playing the song a little bit higher up with the capo, and then you don't have to stretch as far. So I know I took a bit of time on those tips, but if we're being honest, I think those are pretty helpful tips. I feel like I need to check to make sure I'm actually recording. I am recording. Okay, I put my capo back on the fourth fret, we're on that stupid chord, which is second fret on the top string, uh, fourth fret on the second string from the top, and then we've got six and six on the middle two strings of the guitar. Okay, now the picking is gonna be almost the same, but we're only gonna use the top four strings. We're just going top string, second string from the top, third string from the top, fourth string from the top. Had a problem. Having, I'm having some problems with my pronunciation today. We're still just doing that bunky, binky, banky, but just with the top four strings. Do that with me once. One, two, wait. One, two, three, here we go. One, two, three, here we go. We're pra yeah, we practice it slower than the actual song goes. All right, we're gonna do that chord twice. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then it gets easier. You get a little break over here. You're gonna lift up your pointer finger and your middle finger, put your pointer finger back on the fourth fret of the second string from the top where it was before, then put your middle finger on the fifth fret of the top string. Oh, so that was got very aggressive. And then you're gonna do the top four strings again. 
twice in a row, just like that. Walkie doobie ding dang, walkie bingy bing bang. So now we've got tough chord, twice. Fifth fret, twice. Then, then, this is a big shift, so prepare yourself. We're going to this chord right here. This, my middle finger goes all the way up to what I believe is the ninth fret. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ninth fret from the capo but it's the 13th fret of your actual guitar, ninth fret from the capo. Middle finger right there on the ninth fret. Pointer finger is gonna play the seventh fret, two frets back on the second string from the top. Your ring finger plays the ninth fret on the third string from the top. And your pinky plays the ninth fret on the fourth string from the top. So you see that? We've got nine, seven, nine, nine. Although it looks kind of like it's 13, 11, 13, 13, because the capo screws everything up. We're gonna do our top four strings again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Only one time. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. Get rid of your middle finger. So now the top string is open. Play those top four strings again. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that was ninth fret, top string open. So from the beginning of the B section, we've got our stupid crazy stretch chord twice. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Up to the fifth fret, twice. Then up to this crazy one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then immediately after one time, get rid of your middle finger. One, two, three, four, five, six. One more chord for the B section. Are you mentally, emotionally, and physically prepared for this chord? Uh, 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 I'm out of breath. You're gonna put your, uh, the, you're gonna get rid of your pointer finger, but keep these two fingers here. Middle finger goes to exactly where your pointer finger was on the seventh fret of the second string from the top. Then your pointer finger, yeah, it's another stretchy one, is gonna go to the fifth fret of the top string right there. Although it looks like the ninth fret of your guitar, but it's one, two, three, four, five, fifth fret. So we got five, seven, nine, nine, like that. It's a stretchy chord again. All those things I said about the other stretchy chord apply to this chord as well. We're gonna do the top four strings, but you're gonna do the pattern cuatro times. That's Spanish for four. I'm surprised you didn't know that. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, two, three, four, five, six, three, two, three, four, five, six, four, two, three, four, five, six. And that is the B section of the hit song September by Earth, Wind, and Fire. I mean, Sparky Deathcap. That was. See? Like what, every video, I have one joke that I planned out. Everything else is just off the cuff, but I always have one joke that as I'm like getting set up, I'm like, oh, that'd be a funny thing to say. And then I put it in there and then I go, that's, that was so disappointing. I'm disappointed in myself and I'm disappointed in the whole situation. What do you say we play this song from the beginning? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play the A section two times in a row. Then we're gonna play that B section one time in a row. And that's what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna learn the C section, not the operation for having a baby, but the guitar part for the song. Do you, remember, you don't even remember this first part. You're like, oh, I don't know. You're like, bruh. I don't remember the part of the song. One, two, three, nice and slow. Oh, hey, do it again. Ooh, top string, fifth fret, top string, then stretchy chord, twice. To the fifth fret, twice up to the ninth fret, open stretchy chord four times, one more, then we go back to the other part. So, okay, if we're being honest. That's the part you guys care about. That's the fun part of the song. That's the cool part of the song. That's the part that's fun to play. I know the stretchy chord sucks, but aren't you gonna be proud of yourself once you do it? But we still need to finish the song and to learn this last part. This last part of the song stresses me out. The drums go it, it's, I legitimately get stressed out. I cannot think of a song 
that stresses me out more than the ending of September. We got fire by Sparky Deathcap. But we're gonna learn it anyway. Um, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna show you how I believe it is performed on the recording and when the guy does it live. Um, then I'm gonna show you a way that's easier that I actually think if you're just playing it by yourself on guitar without all the extra stuff, I think it's a little bit easier. So here's what I believe is the authentic way to do it. Remember that chord we did uh, up here on the ninth fret where it was nine, seven, nine, nine? You're gonna go back to that chord for the beginning of the C section. So again, that was nine, seven, nine, nine on those top four strings. And what I do for this part is I just strum it with my thumb. I just go like that. I just go one, two, three, four, five, six. Six strums of this chord right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then lift up your middle finger. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nothing wrong with that, it's a piece of pie. Then uh, we're gonna go to this stretchy chord that we did. So this was the five, seven, nine, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're gonna go way down to the second fret. You go second fret on the top string, fourth fret on the second from the top, fourth fret on the third string from the top, and you go one, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. It just does that a gazillion times. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, open, two, three, four, five, six, stretchy down to five, throw a five, six, second fret, four, five, six. You didn't see that. Nobody saw that. And the banjo is going like. Or something like that. It's kind of cool. Here's what here's what you can do. If you're like, I don't want to play that. That's stupid. I don't want to do it. Here's what you can do that I think works pretty well. You know that first chord we did at the very beginning? Get that chord ready and just strum, not the top string, but the, the three strings above it. Just go one, two, three, four, five, six. Just like that. Then just go to like basically an E chord. You can just go to an E chord and go one, two, three, four, five, six. Then you go to a power chord on the fifth fret. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's five, seven, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then a power chord on the second fret. So that's two, four, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're on one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Or this guy. They kind of sound good together. If you have a buddy, a friend, a pal, a neighbor, a uh, close acquaintance of sorts, a bandmate, uh, one of you could play the power chords and the other one could play this thing. It'd be kind of sweet, be cool. Anyway, that's the song. So, I mean, I don't think there's any reason to milk it any further than that. This is, ah!